Hello, this is Haka the Bean, and I'm here with SCP-91 and 92. So I'm with SCP-91, Nostalgia. I hope, I hope my videos give you a sense of nostalgia because of how bad they are. If you like the video, please, uh, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. I'm number SCP-91. Object class, it used to be anomalous, but now it's considered safe. Special Containment and Procedures. SCP-91 is to be stored in a standard containment locker at site blank. When SCP-91 is not being tested, it is to be placed under combination lock. Since SCP-91 has shown no signs of resistance to tearing or damage greater than that of normal cardboard, great care should would be taken when transporting it to and from testing sites. During testing, no one other than the subject should view SCP-91. Those suspected of having seen SCP-91 are to be administered at Class B amnestics immediately, and all personal recordings or images in the possession of the subject, both print and digital, are to be destroyed to prevent recurrence. Description: SCP-91 is a Scotty's brand tissue box, currently empty. Immediately upon observing SCP-91, reviewers report an overwhelming sense of nostalgia. Those affected begin reminiscing about times they were near SCP-91. Major events that occurred while it was present, or people and places that somehow relate to it. SCP-91 was originally recorded as an anomalous item and sent to Aliquary Site-44 until one of the members of the recovery team, Assistant Researcher Blank, while viewing a record of her writing from from the 1990s, noted SCP-91 in the background of the film, and noted a strong flood of nostalgic memories attached to it, including memories of SCP-91 at the wedding itself, memories of SCP-91 at the reception, and memories of SCP-91 during the honeymoon. A further interview with its assistant researcher Blank's husband demonstrated that he too remembered SCP-91 in all of those places and situations, again noting strong feelings of nostalgia and fondness for it. Further investigation found that several people who attended the wedding remember SCP-91 being there and the emotional effect. Others were asked to describe the wedding itself without being informed of SCP-91. In these cases, they, they described the scene without including SCP-91 until they were questioned about it directly. At that time, they immediately underwent the same previously observed effect. Continued testing under or other situations has continued to produce similar results. Administration of amnestics has been has proven ineffective at stopping the effect if the subject is allowed to view an image or recording of SCP-91. Of note is the fact that in each record is of SCP-91, the box box pictured is full of tissues. Now we go back oh, on to SCP-92, also known as the best of the fifth dimension. <sighs> I remember SCP-92, object class, safe. Special containment procedures. The 3,125 instances of SCP-92 are to be held in individual cases suitable for containing non-anomalous as compact disks and stored in, in standard inanimate object lockers at Site-37. Each instance is to be individually numbered with permanent marker. Testing of instances of SCP-92 is to be done in soundproof rooms. Only one instance of SCP-92 may be examined at a time. Only D-Class personnel are to listen to previously unexamined instances of SCP-92. Research proposals which, which involve non-D-Class personnel listening to instances of SCP-92 require written approval from Site Command. The cadaver of SCP-92-B is not currently considered anomalous except by association as reserved in the morgue freezer at Site-19. Description: SCP-92 is a set of, of 3,125 audio CDs, each labeled the absolute, 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 absolute best of the fifth dimension, marked with the names of 31 
by farmers who have at various times been part of the American singing group The Fifth Dimension. Each instance of SCP-90 when played in the sound CD player will produce a distinct anomalous effect upon all individuals within hearing range. The anomalous phenomenon will last 74 minutes, the duration of a sound or audio CD. During which time, listeners will be unable to leave hearing range or to shut off the CD player or otherwise interrupt its function. As well, when the anomalous phenomenon finishes, all surviving listeners will engage in synchronized vocalization of the phrase, Wow, that was really cool. Synchronized vocalization has been observed in not on agophones, free verbal infants, unconscious individuals, paralyzed individuals, and individuals physically incapable of speech due to ulogin, ingale, lingual, and or arbuccal damage. I'm not sure if I pronounced any of those words right. You could correct me in the comments. <sighs> the anomalous properties of each instance of SCP-92 are thematically and conceptually linked to the number 5 dimensions and or the members of the 5th dimension. As of an unknown date, 871 instances of SCP-92 have been assessed and their anomalous properties formally described. See document 92 with wa 34 full list or below for a representative of sample. Here's the sample. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I'm just going to number these in order as we see them. So starting at one. Listeners experience quintuple vision of or all moving objects. At two, the listener's body is exuded on a crystals of the element boron, which is the fifth chemical element. Crystals cease materializing upon conclusion of the CD, but do not dematerialize. 3. Listeners body exude pentagonal or ingots of elemental or manganese. Chemical element 25. 25 is 5 by 5, or 5 to the second power. Ingots cease materialization upon conclusion of, of CD, but do not dematerialize. This is good succumb to acute with magnesium poisoning within 24 hours. 4. This is body exude pentagonal neutrals of the element cesium, chemical element 55. All lizards killed by cesium burn burns within five within eight minutes. 5. Lizards become physiologically five years old. 6. Lizards become physiologically five months old. 7. Lizards become physiologically Five weeks old. Eight. Listers become physiologically a five days old. Nine. Lister is spontaneously become five months pregnant, or spontaneously a miscarry upon the conclusion of CD. In initial tests, all male listeners succumb to massive internal hemorrhaging within ten minutes. As to female listeners, surviving female listeners succumb to organ damage within four days. Most farm genetic analysis shows that all pieces were identical and are not related to the listeners. Ten. Lizards experiencing unbearable or painful as it was characterized by constituting and biting motions. Symptoms of a trait. A gamma-old neuroalgia caused by inflammation of the fifth cranial nerve. During initial tests, all lizards barrier themselves into unconsciousness against the walls of the chamber in attempts to escape the pain. 11. Lizards' bodies are pentected and radically producing five disconnected segments which remain alive and mobile. 12. Listeners are pentasected and laterally, producing five disconnected segments which remain alive and mobile. 13. Listeners are, are pentasected and longitudinally, producing five disconnected segments which remain in alive and mobile. 14. Listeners bodies are pentasected and actually, producing five disconnected segments which remain alive and mobile. 15. Listeners are tomatic Teleport to a site on the surface of Himalaya, uh, a fifth most massive moon of Jupiter, fifth planet from the Sun. Lizards are returned upon conclusion of CD, but succumb to the combined effects of hypothermia, hypoxia, radiation poison, and radiation poisoning within three hours. Requests have been made to use SCP-92-200, or this 15th essence of uh, anomalous effects, to send exploration teams equipped with environment suits to Himalaya. Approval is pending. 16. Listeners are converted to individual forms. 17. Listeners 
spontaneously lose five teeth. Each teeth did not regrow after conclusion of CD. 18. Let's just spontaneously lose all but five teeth each. Like teeth do not regrow after conclusion of CD. 19. Let's just spontaneously lose five fingernails each. Fingernails do not regrow after conclusion of CD. 20. Let's just spontaneously lose five toenails each. Toenails do not regrow after a conclusion of the of the CD. 21. Listeners are spontaneously grow three extra eyes each for a total of five. The 92, 77, and 14 ha who had lost an eye in a fight prior to injury foundation cost the group four extra eyes from listening to SCP-92 with 278. Extra eyes do not materialize as a final conclusion of CD. Eyes are functional and of the same color as listeners' original eyes. 22. Listeners experience in psychological deformation such as that their height becomes the circumference of their weight and vice versa. The information reverts the conclusion of CD. This appears to be an exchange between the, lo the listener's dimension of height and dimension of width. 23. Listeners sneeze five times per minute bit for the duration of, C of CD. 24. Listeners spell five times per minute for the duration of CD. 25. Listeners hiccup five times per minute for the duration of CD. 26. Listeners cough five times per minute for the duration of CD. 27. Listeners find themselves in the 2010 Lawyers Von and to film Dimension. Although SCP-92 was taken into validation in a year, Von and Trail all began a reduction of Dimension in the 1980s with the intention of continuing for 30 years. Where they are able to interact with the setting but not affect the actions of the character, since Dimension is only 27 minutes duration, the events of the film repeat two and three quarters times. 28. Listeners find themselves within the 1993 uh, Easterners slash Doctor Who crossover dimensions of time where they are able to interact with the setting but not affect the actions of the characters. Since two parts of dimension and time are only 30 minutes in total duration, the episode the events within the episodes repeat 5.69 times. 29. Listeners find themselves within the 1963 Italian film Amamari and Quattro Dimensioni, where they were able to interact with the setting that, but not affect the actions of the characters. 30. Listeners experience random moments in the life of Alan Shepard, the fifth man to walk on the, on the moon. 31. Listeners experience random moments in the life of James Monroe, the fifth president of the United States. 32. Listeners experience random moments in the life of Mackenzie Bowell, the fifth prime minister of Canada. 33. This is experience random moments in the life of Edward Siega, the first part of Iron Man of Jamaica. 34. This is experience five random moments in the life of Charan Singh, the first part of Iron Man of India. 35. This is experience random moments in the, the, the life of Helen Hayes, the fifth, the, the fifth winner of the Academy Award for Black Actress. 36. Did I get that right? Listeners experience random moments in the light. No, listeners are physically transformed into members of the original lineup of the fifth dimension as they were at the group's establishment in 1966. 37. Listeners are physically transformed into members of the original lineup of the fifth dimension as they were at the time of the original group's dissolution in 1975. 38. Listeners are physically transformed into members of the into members of the original life of the fifth dimension as they were at the time of the original group's reunion in 1990. 39. Listeners are physically transformed into members of the original old lineup of the fifth dimension as they are today. Listeners are transformed into Rod and Townsend, 1933-2001, resume their original forms as a conclusion of CD, but do not resurrect. When an instance of SCP-92 is inserted into the CD drive of a personal computer, its files can be accessed without triggering the anomalous effects. Examination of the files indicate that each CD has different content. All content is audio material, or by or pertaining to the fifth dimension and its individual members. In addition to all known on commercially released songs, files contain live performances, practice sessions, auditions, video interviews, and personal conversations. On May 5th, and this is the acquisition log, on May 5th, an unidentified man, henceforth SCP-92B, carrying two suitcases approached front and gay guards at Site-19.
and to say that he wishes to render himself and his acknowledged creations as a foundation custody. The contents of these suitcases are confiscated and classed as SCP-92. SCP-92-B was transferred to Site-37 for interrogation. During interrogation, SCP-92-B revealed the thematic connections, five dimensions, and the fifth dimension between all instances of SCP-92 and then and committed suicide. Well, apparently, I guess he didn't commit suicide. I read this once before, I'm going to read it again. <sighs> this is the transcript of a statement made by SV-92B upon arrival at Site-19 between Guard and SV-92B. Sir, this is very private. Thing. You can't... This is a foundation in sight, right? You can't come in here, sir. I... You're the SV Foundation, and I'm a failure. What was that, sir? You're the SV Foundation, and I'm a failure. I think I'm clever, but I'm not. I'm a stupid, boring, neck turning hack who thinks that money and cheap puns can take the place of talent and inspiration. I'm tasteless, I'm dull, I'm incompetent, I have no sense of style. And the only reason that I'm not an art criminal is that nothing I ever made is even close to being art. You can secure me, you, and you can contain me, but no one can protect me. Please take me and my anomalous garbage into custody. At this point, guard summoned in backup. SV-92B repeated this statement verbatim until he was taken into custody. Excerpt from a transcript of 92 will be interrogation session 2 between an interviewer who I'm guessing is a researcher and SV-92B. Yes, we understand about fiveness. Thank you. Well, that's been most helpful, but we were also wondering what you could tell us about how you made these. I just wanted to be cool, you know? I really did. I thought, well, I had my inheritance and my collection. And there was the estate and the abandoned museum, and so much of the stuff went together. And it wasn't that tough. And look, my ideas were better than yours. They were. I know they were. No, they're not. No one's impressed by stupid, fast up oh, wordplay. It's not even good wordplay. It's kindergarten level. Oh, paranomasia. Oh, look, five dimensions. Whatever th or things could you think of that come in fives? I'm worthless. I'm worthless. Better than my ideas? There's no deeper meaning to what I said. It's all just superficial. Oh, put um, can, and village crap. Popping invitation and crap into the river of human achievement. It's Stein's freaking Oakland. And I don't even freaking understand these freaking illusions. I'm an uninspired wannabe. I'm boring. I'm a useless hack with no freaking imagination. I've wasted and ruined miracles. I've squandered so much raw material that other people could have done so much with. I just... I'm not cool. I never will be. I'm really sorry about the mess. These aren't my arms. At this point, SCP-892-B seizes his own head and with both hands and rips it off his neck, killing himself instantly. That was SCP-91 I mean, and 92. Clearly one was a lot more intense than the other. <laughs> Makes me wonder if the author of this article is okay. I hope they are. Anyway, I will see you next time with SCP-93, also known as the Red Sea Object. The reason why I am keeping this for its own video is because I really like, like the story behind it and the story of it. I'll see you then. This has been Huckabee Bean. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and, and leave a comment down below. If you do subscribe, please click that, that little bell notification.